presidential hopeful Donald Trump may have ruffled a few feathers outside the United States, despite his inability or refusal to care about what others think of him or what he has to say. While many think Trump is the stereotypical fascist rising, or just some bitch on a donut run, the British are taking great exception to his recent rhetoric towards Muslims, and if elected, Trump could cause a rift between the Anglo-American relations that the two have held for over a century. In a rather convoluted, hollow response, Her Majesty's government responded to a petition by over 500,000 British citizens calling for the billionaire to be barred in the United Kingdom, and reiterates the power of Home Secretary Theresa May's office. The Home Secretary has said that coming to the UK is a privilege and not a right. She will continue to use the powers available to prevent from entering the UK those who seek to harm our society and who do not share our basic values. According to the British government, the Home Secretary can bar a non-European Union national from entering the United Kingdom if it is believed that their presence would disrupt the public or, in their words, their presence in the UK would be non-conducive to the public good. It is not, however, mentioned if this applies to Trump. The government also spoke on comments made by British Prime Minister David Cameron, who called Trump stupid and three times a loser in a recent address to Parliament over Trump's proposition to halt the immigration of Muslims and individuals from Muslim countries into the United States. The Prime Minister has made clear that he completely disagrees with Donald Trump's remarks. The Home Secretary has said that Donald Trump's remarks in relation to Muslims are divisive, unhelpful, and wrong. We reject any attempts to create division and marginalization amongst those we endeavor to protect. The petition, which must, which must and has reached 500,000 signatures, was filed on December 8, 2015, and cites hate speech as the reason for the move to bar Trump Fuhrer from entering the UK and request the British government to continue applying the unacceptable behavior criteria to those who wish to enter. It reached 100,000 signatures on the first day alone and quickly surpassed 500,000 on December 11th, with the numbers continuing to grow closer to 600,000 as of the new year. If this were to succeed and Donald Trump was to be elected as President of the United States, he would be the first sitting U.S. president to be barred from entering the U.K. since the founding days of America and could seriously jeopardize the long-standing relationship between the two nations. Frankly, I don't find this at all surprising. The growing need by some individuals to accept fascism coincides with the growing xenophobia, Islamophobia, and white supremacy in the United States and the Western world, and the growing level of nationalism would also seem to suggest a lack of remorse, apology, or care by Trump and his supporters if this were to happen. Yet they fail to realize if Trump wants to be president and be the leader of the so-called free world, he needs to pro project a certain image or else the U.S. may find itself severely isolated and economically crippled by growing world powers as its own influence and seriousness will be eroded away and kill it. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.